are back in one of my favorite rivers in mid-Michigan. Uh, just talked to another boater, and they said it's been a pretty slow day for them, but I think we're going to have some luck. It just feels like a good day today. I kind of want to just go down to the main river, or to the main section of the river over here. It's pretty slow moving. I'm thinking there might be some fish on beds, but it's one of those things we're just going to have to see. It's an absolutely gorgeous day though. Nice little grass patch growing right here. A lot of times in the summer you'll see a lot of small bait fish sitting up among these things and usually on the edges this is good for a pike or two, but I'm hoping with this being so new right now that maybe they'll uh, just be sitting in it itself. So far I've got the one rock bass off the uh, little swim bait. I had one I had come up, the bigger one, come up and hit my swim jig, but that thing was just too big to get in its mouth. I think it just grabbed the tail. But it's a good sign usually when there's rock bass, usually I mean there's other fish around, so. Especially if there's pike, because pike love rock bass. Doesn't really surprise me either. Those things, they taste pretty good, but man, they stink. Rock bass smell terrible. Uh, breakdown of Alex Jones's film, uh, Endgame. And then we would put out the episode starting in uh, February. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to... Um, so at, at this point, it, it, this is going to be our last episode in January, and we've made it 85% of the way to the goal. Uh, the structure is going to be, uh, and because we didn't hit that goal, we might end up putting the first one out in the middle of February, <laughs> but it will be... Stop it! And during the statistical analysis for that now, it's been extremely successful since we started in May of 19. Great name, by the way. It's fine. Great name. Uh, he makes a weird point about the remote viewers. Uh -huh. One thing, Karen, I really want to, I really want to mention hundreds of unknown nuclear weapons stored in one yeah. spot. I just had about a 20 inch pike come up and snatch my jig. So uh, I think the trailer switch was probably a good choice. He came back a second time too. He grabbed it, just kind of tapped it. And I thought at first maybe it was just a uh, weed, but he smoked it that second time. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's a good one. It's probably like close to 30, I bet. I bet that's close to 30. He just shot out of that log too. Well, that trailer switch helped. That did it. Two good pike. Man, these river pike have such big heads too. He is not happy. Probably 30. It's a good fish. Oh, I got that on a net bait, mini little pack of craw. Um, I really like these and I'd actually use them all the time, but they are just not very sturdy. Once one of those, once you get probably two or three fish on it, they get tore up pretty quick. Um, sucks because they have a great action but you know it's kind of I think that's why they're a little more tender I guess oh my god Oh my god.
just had two good fish. Lost, and I'm pretty sure they were pike. Short striking on this jig. Oh my god, that one felt really big. go down river while I still have a little time and check this out. I have a feeling most of the bass are, well the smallmouth anyways, are either done spawning or somewhere else because I've caught nothing but pike. Good ones too and I lost a couple really good ones. The one I had on that I was felt big was a smart one. I had him out of the weeds and as soon as I got close he shot right into the thick stuff to my right and lost him so we'll have to see if I can go back there and maybe get a second shot at him tonight or a little bit later. This looks good right here though. This just feels good. It's low when you get some fresh lily pads. from that campground in their boat. That would suck. There we go. Fatty. They are just short striking the out of this thing right now.
this one's got a what are they called? The chestnut lamprey, I believe. If you look on its back there. Just sticking on for the ride. These fish are just coming after this jig. Throwing a swim jig is just my absolute favorite way to catch fish. Like you get to fish. I love fishing shallow water for a start, but then you're just out and you can catch so many different species. Especially <laughs> pike and bass. But largemouth will hit this thing, smallmouth. They work in rivers, they work in lakes. Dirty water, clear water. Just find me some weeds and I'll throw a swim jig all day. <laughs> oh man, that'll spook you. Oh man, I wish I'd have bought some more of these craw trailers when I was in Texas and just used them. I got stuck on a swim bait. I just always have seemed to have luck with those. And I knew I should have switched to the craw. I just didn't do it early enough. And and the opportunities I had to fish were not really good for bass. I mean, Houston was nice, but it would have been awesome to get out on Conroe. I think I could have done a little better on that lake. I didn't have a great showing, but I feel like I could have done much better. Too excited. <laughs> 